It's a wrap for now for the NFL trade season. The trade deadline passed at 4 p.m. on Tuesday, and there were quite a few moves on deadline day. Arguably, the most shocking trade of the day was one between division rivals. The Detroit Lions traded tight end TJ Hawkinson to the Minnesota Vikings. The Lions received a 2023 second round pick and a 2024 third round pick, while the Vikings got a 2023 fourth round selection and a conditional 2024 fourth round pick along with Hawkinson. That conditional 2024 fourth rounder will become a 2024 fifth round pick if the Vikes win a playoff game. Quite the come up for Hawkinson with this trade. The 25 year old tight end has 26 receptions for 395 yards and three touchdowns in seven games this season. And now goes from the Lions last place in the NFC North to the first place of Vikings. The Chicago Bears were active again on Tuesday after trading linebacker Roquan Smith to the Baltimore Ravens on Monday. The team sent its own second round pick to the Pittsburgh Steelers for wide receiver Chase Claypool. He was a 2020 second round pick by the Steelers and has 153 catches for 2,044 yards and 12 touchdowns over the last two plus seasons. However, 10 of Claypool's catches came as a rookie. Two AFC teams connected on a trade. That will be the Denver Broncos and the Miami Dolphins. The Broncos traded outside linebacker Bradley Chubb to the Finns for running back Chase Edmonds, the 2023 first round pick Miami acquired from the 49ers last year, a 2024 fourth round pick and a 2025 fifth round selection. Chubb has five and a half sacks on the season and is scheduled to become an unrestricted free agent after this season. Edmonds, who signed with Miami in free agency this year, has rushed for 120 yards and scored three touchdowns. With the trade, the Dolphins will not have a first round pick next year and the deal gives Denver a first round pick again next April. The Atlanta Falcons have traded wide receiver Calvin Ridley to the Jacksonville Jaguars. According to the NFL Network, the Falcons will receive draft compensations that could result in a maximum of a 2023 fifth rounder and a 2024 second rounder. Ridley is currently suspended through at least the 2022 season for betting on NFL games. His suspension is indefinite, but he can petition for reinstatement on February 15, 2023. And the AFC Best Buffalo Bills bolstered their roster. The Bills, who lead the AFC with a 6-1 record, acquired running back Naeem Hines from the Indianapolis Colts. Hines, a pass-catching running back out of the backfield, has 25 receptions for 188 yards this season. In his five-year career with the Colts, he has caught 235 balls for 1,725 yards and seven touchdowns. He's also rushed for 1,205 yards and 10 touchdowns. In the deal, Buffalo gave up tailback Zach Moss and a 2023 sixth round pick. So it was indeed a busy NFL trade deadline day. And one local note, the Jets made a trade for the future. Gangrene shipped defensive end Jacob Martin to the Broncos in exchange for a pick swap. The Jets will get a fourth round pick in 2024 and they lose their 2024 fifth round pick. The Giants, they were quiet with no moves at the deadline.